This isn't going to be your usual type of video from me. For starters, you can tell that it's a lot shorter than usual, and this is because this is going to be more of an announcement video more than anything else. In the background, you can see a module of a space station. Now, this is going to be no ordinary space station. This is the core module of what will become my channel's subscriber space station. I'm going to go through with you now how you can submit your, uh, your modules, because this is what I want. But first, a little bit of a failed attempt here. Uh, definitely went very, very well indeed. Totally. Oops. <laughs> so as we launch the module for realsies this time, I'm going to briefly explain why I'm doing this and uh, what you can do to get involved. So basically, in case you haven't been playing KSP all that long ago, all for that long, um, a couple of years ago it was kind of a faddy sort of thing to sort of build a subscriber space station or like a space station would go around a group of YouTubers um, who were famous at the time and they'd add their own modules to it or do various different things. Uh, but that's kind of gone out of fashion. I'm kind of sad really because I thought it was quite a nice way to collaborate. So I've decided as a result I'm going to build my own space station which you guys can submit modules to. There are going to be a few restraints which I'll come on to in a moment here. Um, but first you can see me lining up the module to I think a 350,000 meter orbit. Um, I decided to put it a little bit higher in case we have any larger modules that need to be docked um, that require more delta V to actually rendezvous with and what have you. And you can see the fairing separation right about now. Um, this core module does only have two and a half meter docking ports, which I know sucks if you want to put in a small on a smaller module. But if anyone wants to make an adapter, then sure ahead, go, go do that. You can make pretty much whatever you want. Um, with this space station, providing it's within the restrictions that I'm going to place below. And um, with regards to submitting them, I want you to submit them on kerbalx.com. I will leave a link to it in the description as well as instructions in the description on how to upload your craft files to that site. It's very, very simple. It won't take you long at all. And I'll give you, um, basically, if you send me a link in the comment section of this video uh, to your craft, then I will, um, I will have a look at them all and I'll choose one of the best ones to actually be put onto the space station. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that. I have only three real rules when it comes to this thing. First of all, uh, no mods. I'm sorry, um, it does kind of suck that I can't have any mods, more modded parts in this. But unfortunately, it just makes my life a lot easier if I just don't have mods and everything's just stock. Everything that I've put on this module here, with the exception of a MechJeb module in case of emergency circumstance, some circumstances, is stock. So um, unfortunately, it'll just make my life easier and it'll make things a lot, lot simpler for the space station. Secondly, the amount of parts you're allowed to use is limited to 60 just for frame rate purposes otherwise it's going to become a real laggy mess up there. And finally, your module must fit neatly within a three and a half meter fairing. It can be smaller if you want and it can be ever so slightly larger than the fairing because obviously they do extend a little bit but I don't want these huge bulbous things on top of rockets because to me they are just kind of an eyesore and also if you keep the module smaller it tends to make the space the station a lot more uh, realistic and that's kind of the thing that I'm going for here I'm trying to make this sort of a realistic sort of cooperation between subscribers and my channel or something I don't even know um, but I'm looking forward to seeing what you create so there you go I think this is going to be a very exciting opportunity for this channel and the community to show that we can pull together and we can build something truly amazing here is, once again, I'm putting on the screen a display of the module I've put in orbit, and I'll also be linking a uh, Kerbal X file in the description um, so that you guys can download it and build your modules in the Space Center like you want me to, like you want to. Um, but I'm looking forward to seeing what you create, and I'll leave the instructions down below in the description. As always, this is Bradis signing off, and as always, stay classy.